Um, is there something you need? I mean, I'm sitting here by myself on my lunch break, eating my food, and you approach me with very energy-filled eyes, so there's got to be something on your mind. No, I don't care about what you're thinking. I care that you're in my personal space and that you won't leave me alone. Can you go somewhere else? Hey, listen, if you're going to ask me something, then ask me something. If not, then go somewhere else. Hey, 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 what? Are you okay? Stop. Stop moving. What happened? I said stop moving, stay on the floor. Do you remember anything that happened 10 seconds ago? You remember walking into the break room and then you don't remember anything after that. Well, let me tell you, um, you walked in, walked straight towards me and you stared at me and then I guess you argued with me just a little bit and then when I was telling you off and I was telling you to go somewhere else, you fainted. Um, are you sure it's safe for you to work right now? You know what? Whatever. Come with me. No, stop it. Come with me. I'm taking you to the health department. No, I don't care. I'm not going to let a coworker faint in front of me. Obviously, they're sick, and obviously, something is wrong. I'm not going to sit back and let whatever is happening to you happen. And we're going to see if it's okay for you to continue working or if you have to go home. Why do you keep on saying that? I don't care about you in particular. If anything, I dislike you. But you're a human being with problems, whether it be physical or mental or just health-wise in general. You need to get checked out. Because listen, the last thing I need today is somebody... You know, on the job. I can't have that, okay? Do I make myself clear? I'm not here for arguing. I'm not here for back and forth. I'm not here for if, ands, or buts. Get up. You know what? Let me carry you. You heard what I said. Let me carry you. Just <sighs> jump on my back. Yes, I'm serious. I don't care if I'll look stupid. I don't want you in any type of danger, okay? Jump on my back so I can take you to the nurse. Please. For me. <laughs> you know, it would be a lot better if you stopped eating so much. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> You're fine. No, I'm not calling you fat. I just said I was joking. <sighs> You're so sensitive. Well, of course you are. Whenever I even bump into you a little bit, you always start crying. Like always. It's nothing new. It's why I hate you the most. You don't know how to take a joke. You don't know how to play around. And then whenever you do and you take it too far, somebody does it back to you and they also take it too far and then you turn into a crybaby. Uh, don't want to hear it. If you talk anymore, you might faint again. So be quiet and I guess enjoy the ride. We're going to be here for a while. Well, yeah, the health department is in the next building. So we have to leave this building and then cross the street. And then I have to walk up four flights of stairs and not just any type of stairs. They aren't just stairs you find at home to go upstairs. These are company building stairs. And those are a lot. So, please, with me doing this for you, I need you to shut up. Thank you. And we're here. Hey, um, miss? Yeah, um, I was on break, and this young lady came into the break room, disturbing my peace. But that's besides the point. She walked in, talked for a little bit, 
and then she fainted. Now, when she woke up, I asked her what she remembered, and the only thing she remembered was her walking in the room. Nothing else after that. So, I don't know what she has. I don't know if it's iron or whatever other vitamin or mineral she's missing, but she's missing something. So, can you please help her? Well, yeah, she's asleep right now, but um, she's very important to me. Like, very. She's the reason that I even enjoy coming to work. Work is so boring, and she's the reason that I even feel negative emotions at all. She's the reason that it's not boring, and I kind of look forward to whenever I come to work, because I get to talk to her. It may not be the best conversations, but it's definitely something. So, whatever you can do, whatever you can prescribe her, make sure that she can work today. Please. Thank you. Yeah, I'm still on my break, and it's not over for like another hour, so I can just wait outside and wait for you to, I guess, treat her. Thank you. Huh? You're telling me that she's awake. Okay, great. Um, did you treat her? Did you give her anything? Is she feeling any better? I should ask her myself. Hey, loser. Yes, I'm talking to you. How are you feeling? A little bit better. Well, that's good, I guess. Um, do you think you'll be able to work? I know you clock out in like three hours, but there's still a lot of stuff to do. And because we're in the same department, if you leave, everything you have to do is going to get thrown on me, and I don't want that to happen. No, there isn't another reason I want you to stay. Who told you that? The nurse told you that I care for you deeply, and that it would be ashamed if you went home early. That damn nurse... No, it's not true. Maybe she was just telling you something to make you feel a lot better. Me? Care about you? That is impossible. But, whatever, just, if you're okay and you're ready to go back to work, get back on my back. Well, yeah, you may have just received treatment and you may be feeling a little better, but I'm not going to let you walk until it's time for you to work. Especially across the street with oncoming traffic. Well, think about it. You could be walking and, you know, doing regular stuff, and you might faint in the middle of the street. I can't have that. Realistically, you're still my responsibility until you clock out, so I'm going to take the safest and easiest way for you to get back to work. I don't care. I, I said I don't care. Get on my back. Whew, finally back at work, and my break is already over. Ugh, this is so boring. How are you feeling? Well, I clock out in about 10 minutes, and you still have another hour. But I talked with the boss, and he said that you can clock out when I clock out. Well, the reason being is because I was the one that you were with last when you fainted, you're my responsibility. So, you are supposed to leave the office with me. I don't know when they implemented that in terms of, like, company policy, but, um, that's how that works. So, pack whatever you brought to work today, lunch, work, computers, everything, and you're leaving in about five minutes. Um, I can take you home, yeah. Well, here's the plan. Your car is going to stay in the driveway. I'm going to drive you home, right? I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to do whatever. And then tomorrow, I'm going to drive you back to work. And then when you clock out then, then you'll drive home. I hope that made sense. <laughs> Great, because I wasn't explaining that again. Shut up. 
Just make sure everything is ready, and I'll meet back with you in five minutes, okay? Okay, great. Hey, um, are you done? Packing, of course. Why else would I be here? Honestly, you're so annoying. Just grab this, grab that, and make sure to get your computer, because if you can't work from home, we're dead. Okay? Okay. Are you ready? Alright, great. Ladies first.